Hello, I'm Dr. Kenneth, an IVF specialist. What we're looking at in this episode is whether or not I would recommend a mock embryo transfer before uh, the real embryo transfer. Mock embryo transfer, as the word suggests, means a trial before the main event. The embryo transfer is one of the most sensitive aspects of an IVF treatment cycle. Embryo transfers are done with thin catheters that are meant to pass through the cervical canal and internal os and get to the uh, endometrial cavity as quietly as possible to deposit the embryo before getting out of the cavity. Any act of stimulation or obstruction on the way may trigger some waves of contraction in the uterine cavity and the embryo that should be placed in the uterine cavity may eventually be exuded. And this technically means a failure of an IVF treatment cycle. So it's always important or necessary to know that the pathway towards depositing the embryo into the uterine cavity it's clear. And so, would I recommend embryo, uh, mock embryo transfer to all clients? I like to say there are specific people that I think should have compulsory mock embryo transfer. And these are people who have had a cervical procedure before or a uterine procedure that gets towards the lower segment of the uterus. Or even as we see these days, a teeming population of advanced age women who have passed long ago their reproductive lifetime. Postmenopausal women coming to access IVF treatment cycle. In these categories of people, you have the uterus already being atretic, the cervical canal, the internal os all may have undergone some atretic changes. And so you need to be very sure whether the thin catheter can go through this pathway seamlessly. Those who have also, for some reason, had difficult embryo transfer in previous IVF treatment cycle may be considered for a mock embryo transfer. It's the same caliber of catheter that is used for the real embryo transfer that's also used in the mock embryo transfer. And all this is in an attempt to ensure that a woman have, has, a, has a seamless embryo transfer and the chance of achieving real and good and IVF treatment outcome. So I would like to say at this point that while I recommend embryo transfer for those who have the reasons for it, I don't really think that mock embryo transfer should be done for everybody undergoing the IVF treatment cycle. You may find this and many more from our website, or better still, when you visit our facilities. Until I come your way next time, I'm Dr. Kenneth Teguda, IVF specialist. Thanks for viewing.